Taking care of oneself is a full-time work. Requiring protection of our vitality, protecting our energy is, after all, investing in our mental wellness. Think of an hourglass, for instance. The seconds passed as the sand gradually settles to the bottom, sand runs out at the top. Eventually, you must flip it over to replenish. Similar is emotional well-being. Every choice voice uses a few grains of that sand. We use mental, energy throughout the day, deciding what to do, finishing challenging projects, or with individuals who in certain cases have poisonous traits. We do not have unlimited mental energy. Even if we believe we can manage everything at once, we lose physical energy, drive declines, and we are more likely to put off tasks when it runs low. Remembering that life is a balance of yin and yang, negative and positive light, and darkness is vital. These two components will always be mixed. That is just how things are and cannot be changed. Being aware, seeing who, what, and where raises us, enlightens and energizes us. Who, what, and where. Precisely the contrary is true. When we become aware of this, we may respond suitably and make deliberate choices that benefit us. We can sense and attract anything and everyone we come into touch. With via the spiritual energy system of our body, we detect a tight environment, see danger and feel totally exhausted via this system. Learning to protect ourselves and maintain our energy, clean and charged, seems logical. Then to put it another way, Entwined with our physical body is a vibrational energy body normally invisible to us, comprising seven layers pulsing outward from our body, the energy field. Around our body is known as the aura. Our aura is related to seven energy centers, often referred to as the seven chakras within the body, which are connected to a great network of energy channels called meridians and NES, flowing over the interior of our body. If you are an empathic person who frequently gets overwhelmed, it is vital not only to protect yourself, but also to boost your energy. And that is precisely what we will explore tonight. You may efficiently control these energy by following numerous actions. Remember, first of all, to give your own needs top priority. You are definitely looking after others, your family, friends, and those close by. But never forget your own needs within all this. Whether our inner wants are for relaxation, a connection with something that speaks to our route of travel or the urge to investigate ways of spiritual practice, we all have them. Maybe it's time to let out suppress feelings, but right now we're not sure how to do it. You could find increased awareness of these issues. Maybe in the rush of life you have overlooked them. Yet something within you might be waking this metamorphosis calls for realizing and attending to your requirements. One should realize that satisfying your demands is not a sign of selfishness. It is about filling the cup of your life, not about putting yourself first at the price of others. You are essentially filling your cup by tending to your needs and cultivating self-love, thereby guaranteeing that you have something meaningful to give the people around you. This is a really crucial idea that we might easily ignore from our consciousness many times. We put other people first, of ourselves, and overlook the need of personal hygiene. Thus keep in mind that it is a necessary step towards a better and richer life. It is not selfishness. Thus give this reminder great thought and start looking after your requirements and yourself. The power of awareness becomes the next crucial element of knowledge for this phase. Our inner condition, which influences our energy, may be much changed by the regular exposure to certain stimuli you find yourself drawing more into unsettling or upsetting material. When you interact with it often, one sense is a faint gravitational pull in action. For instance, you can discover a subconscious draw to social media if you spend a lot of time reading the most recent news and world happenings. Moreover, these algorithms will help you discover more and more material. Fit for your rage, disappointments, or worries, this can become negative over time. It begins to damage you rather than illuminating you. Already know deep down the information you need. Indeed, knowledge and education are essential. But it's time to break up when material is poisonous. You may so stop the that continuously bombards your head with anxiety and disarray. You serve a higher goal than just information. 
Consumption information overload is a serious problem at this era. Trying to digest it all is unattainable. If you allow yourself to turn into a passive consumer, you will find yourself like a sponge, saturated in a disorderly mix of everything without knowing what to do with all of it connecting with ourselves. Discovering our interests and learning how we could influence the people around us will help us to actually grow. It's about realizing what veers us off this road and working to cut off these distractions. This is vital, as these diversions not only take our time, but also saps our limited vitality, along with the material itself. There is frequently unpleasant and poisonous baggage accompanying it. Let us so pause momentarily to consider what really counts, accept the ability of awareness, and decide what you let into your heart and mind. This will greatly affect your path of self-discovery and help you to realize your goal. Continually exposing oneself to bad emotions is like running a cauldron inside of us. This emotional turbulence may linger and throw shadows over our days, thereby challenging our ability to find equilibrium. One should be somewhat conscious of this. Imagine your head as a garden negative. Emotions are like poison to this garden. I really feel you would not want to poison it. Sleeping a nice night helps us to replenish our vitality. My friends, this is rather crucial as numerous studies highlight the significant influence that a quality night's sleep has breaking. Old Habits Like surfing the phone till late at night can be difficult, still loving sleep is a dedication to our health, staying strong helps us to see a really amazing change. Our energy levels rise, and as a result, we get more conscious of the true priority in our life still. That's not all the fundamental core of our life. Nature has amazing revitalizing ability. So, for instance, the great vitality provided in sunlight may help us to revive ourselves. Try, therefore, to find a time to go out at dawn or sunset. Your energy will change physically as if you were reestablishing. Connection with the primordial source of all living. This is the natural power. It reminds us that our daily life is just one component of a greater global cycle. We re-energize our spirits as well as our physical bodies by relating with nature and that source. Apart from appreciating surroundings, meditation is really essential. Meditating helps us to calm the mind, to stand back from everyday concerns and racing ideas. This frees room for interior tranquility and clarity through recharging our mental energy. Meditation enables us to discover our center and equilibrium still another vital component of maintaining our vitality is diet. Our vitality and well-being directly come from the foods we consume. Essential is selecting meals that feed our body and soul, give fresh, naturally occurring, nutrient-dense foods. First priority, these. Meals boost our energy field and enable us to clear our aura in addition to sustaining the body. One of the best ways to generate good energy is to develop everyday thankfulness. We change our viewpoint to one of plenty and opportunity by emphasizing what we have rather than what we lack. This change of perspective not only increases our vitality, but also draws more positive elements into our life. One should establish and maintain reasonable limits. This includes learning to say no, setting boundaries with other people and activities that saps our vitality. Protecting our time and energy guarantees that we are spending it in relationships and activities that are uplifting and enlightening. Taking care of our energies is knowledge and self-love. We may lead a more balanced, healthy, and contented existence by being aware of how our interactions with the surroundings influence our energy. Your personal energy is under your protection. Love will help you to take care of it and support you on your path. Taking care of your energy also means building good connections. Our energy is much influenced by the individuals we daily deal with surrounding oneself with individuals who encourage and uplifts U.S. instead of saps our energy with. Negativity or drama helps us to be surrounded with like ideals. Maintaining good energy may be much hampered by toxic or too demanding relationships. 
Maintaining energy balance depends on your developing a pastime or activity you like, whether it's art, music, writing, athletics, or any other activity committing to time to something that makes you happy and fulfilled can help you to replenish your mind and body. Additionally, enhancing our vitality is the virtue of kindness and service. Not only can assisting others improve their life, but it also fosters empathy and connection that fuel our own vitality, get good at listening and trusting your gut feeling. One strong internal tool that enables us to make choices consistent with our own values and actual self is ignition learning to trust this inner direction will enable us to avoid relationships and circumstances damaging our energy. Taking care of your energy is a continuous and changing activity. Hence, you must realize your energy demands shift as you develop and evolve. Essential is being adaptable and open to new ideas or changes in your energy. Care program combining all these components helps you to establish in your life a sustainable and healthy energy. Ecology. This harmony helps you personally as well as others close to you. Recall that attending to your energy is a gift to the planet and yourself. A show of respect and self-love. Another vital aspect of protecting and managing your energy involves recognizing and eliminating energy leaks in your daily life. These leaks can manifest in various forms, such as unfinished tasks, unexpressed emotions, or unresolved conflicts. Each of these elements acts like an open tap continuously draining your energy reserves. It is essential to identify these energy leaks and address them promptly, completing tasks. Even the small ones can give you a sense of accomplishment and reduce mental clutter. Similarly, finding healthy ways to express your emotions and resolve conflicts can release the negative energy that might be weighing you. Down by doing so, you seal the energy leaks and preserve your vitality. The practice of mindfulness can play a significant role in energy management. Mindfulness involves being fully present in the moment, aware of your thoughts, feelings, and surroundings without judgment. This practice helps you stay grounded and prevents your mind from wandering into the past or future where energy can be wasted. On regrets or anxieties, engaging in mindful activities, such as mindful eating, walking, or even breathing exercises, can center your energy and bring a sense of calm and focus. Over time, these practices can help you develop a resilient mental state, better equipped to handle life's challenges without depleting your energy reserves. The company you keep significantly influences your energy surrounding yourself with positive supportive individuals can uplift and energize you, whereas negative draining people can have the opposite effect. It is crucial to cultivate relationships that nourish your spirit and let go of those that